welcome back to the Make Me Lab. I have a bit of a treat today. This is something that I've long wanted to get my hands on. This is actually a radioactive glow-in-the-dark keychain. And I've seen some pretty neat projects with this. What they consist of is it's a gas tritium light source. It's a borosilic glass tube with a phosphor coating and inside the clear polycarbonate outer case. So tritium has a half-life of around 12 years. So this thing's gonna glow in the dark for more than a decade. You can't see much in the light here, but if you put it into the dark, it's a pretty significant glow. It's very similar to the, the glow in the dark light sticks that you've played with pretty much my entire life now. They've been around a long time. That uh, Kallium or something, the, the filler, I forget. The, the tritium is actually a radioactive isotope of hydrogen. And it's pretty neat that they can sell these things. If you want to buy this, uh, I'll put the links in the description below and you can pick one of these up. But uh, it's just fun, neat stuff. But today, let's see if it's actually dangerous, the radioactivity of it. Is this getting out of here? So what I actually have is a dosimeter. <laughs> Not everybody has one of these kicking around, but I do. We'll let it warm up and get the background radiation level in the room here. We should see, uh, it should be pretty low, hopefully with any luck. Uh, I do have the one of the world's largest nuclear plants up the road, but hopefully they're not leaking anything. So we're at pretty stable at 0.04 ish and i've seen this up to 0 0.08 depending on the day that's pretty normal for this room if we go ahead and stick our our source behind it and we'll get it lined up with the tube that senses and see if we can pick anything up if there was anything being released from it uh, we would see this 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 measurement climb and we're not it, it, I've, I've actually tried this before the video and I have had no luck recreating what some other videos have done. I don't get anything out of here. Now, the question is, is it my dosimeter? Well, let's find out. We just need a radiation source. <laughs> Love my packaging on this. Well, inside, we definitely do have something radioactive. We'll let this settle out. So we end up leveling out in the neighborhood of around four to five microsieverts an hour. Now, it varies the opinion on how dangerous that is, but basically you don't want this around you for an extended period of time. We're getting up, we can get up over six. I don't generally see it that high. What's inside here? This is actually Fiesta Ware uh, dish material. So way back in the day, this was available uh, as dishware, as uh, plates and cups. And it actually uses a uranium oxide coating in this glaze to give it this, this red color. The company stopped using the depleted uranium oxide in around the 1972 range, I think. So uh, this, this you can't get anymore, and nor would I want to. The half-life for uranium-235 is about four and a half billion years, so this stuff is gonna be around a long time. Long story short, it shows us that our dosimeter is indeed working, and uh, we can measure. If we let that settle back out again, once we get back down to, to ambient background, you can repeat this and we're not getting anything out of it. So some of the reports saying these things are giving off large amounts of radiation, I think are, are a little false. So we're right back to normal background there and yeah, mm, nothing. 0.04 to 0 0.08 is, uh, is totally reasonable I find for background. Nothing coming out of that. So definitely no major danger, but very, very cool to have a totally glow-in-the-dark keychain that is not battery-powered, is actually nuclear-powered, and you can make some cool projects with this. You can sandwich some solar panels around it, and seen, there's been some projects on YouTube, and uh, make yourself a nuclear battery out of these. They're a little expensive if you need a, you need a few of the, the, the vials to make that feasible, but 
a couple of solar PV panels and you can actually capture uh, generate a voltage of, of the photons coming off of this off the, the phosphorescent coating pretty crazy uh, just neat stuff I I wanted one for a while why not and it gave me a good use to play around with my dosimeter very cool cool stuff be careful with radiation remember always put it in a clearly marked paper container safe than sorry folks I will see you next video guys cheers